Hey, what's up YouTube, Banshee Writer. Figured I'd do a quick video on this battery here. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I got a lead time 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour battery. It's their new smart Bluetooth version, size group 24. It's gonna be a direct replacement for the two lead acid batteries that I have on my travel trailer. I do have another lithium battery, it's still in the box. Uh, but I went to try and get this set up and I noticed a couple things. First, I couldn't register in the app, but that's been fixed. And then I couldn't connect Bluetooth because I realized the BMS has been turned off. Uh, so I put my voltmeter on real quick and I noticed that it reads 3.227 volts, which is kind of scary considering it's a lithium battery. And uh, the last time I got one of these, uh, it was at 13 volts when I got it. So I'm not sure what's up with this, but I did some research and I read that it could be a safety feature for when they shipped it. In the app, you can actually turn off the power so that you don't have any voltage coming across these posts. But uh, not sure if that's what they did because it's only reading 3.2 volts. Um, so I did some research and basically what I gather is I have to wake up the BMS. And I figured I'd do that on video here. Um, in case something goes wrong, but what I'm going to be using to wake this thing up is my Fox Peed, uh Battery jumper that I keep in my truck at all times and Basically this thing will jump start a tractor um, If you need to but this has a DC output of 12 volts at 10 amps um, So it definitely gets the job done got the alligator clips there and from what I read is I just have to touch it real quick and the voltage should jump up to what it's actually at once the BMS kicks back on. Sorry for all the background noise. I got the garage door open and uh, sorry my my desk here or my workbench is a freaking disaster. But anyways, <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and get this Fox Peed set up and we'll do it on video. All right, stand by. All right, guys, I'm back. Got the Fox Peed set up here. So far, I just have the negative terminal connected. And all I should have to do is touch this positive terminal with the positive lead on the Fox Peed, and it should wake it right up. Uh, let's double check the battery. All right, so it's turned on and it's at 100%. I just charged this thing up because I had to jump my truck the other day. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that quick touch and then we'll put the voltmeter back on. Let's see here. All right, so I can hear this thing clicking and that should be good. Let's take this off. All right, let's get this turned back on and see what the voltage is. I hope it worked. I hope it worked. See if I can do this with one hand. All right, that. Let's make sure this is on DC. Okay. And boom, look at that. 13.2 volts. It worked. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so that does make me feel much better. Um, so it's at 13.2 volts. That's awesome. The BMS is awake. So I guess what we could do is try to hook up the app. Go ahead and open up the app. I'll tell you what, I am super stoked that this is working now because I was really stressed out that they shipped me a battery that was completely dead. So it looks like that the BMS was shut down. <clears throat> I don't know if it was for shipping or if, if what happened? I don't know. I know these were back ordered, so this is a brand new battery straight from the factory. Like these were back ordered for almost a month, and I just got it. So you know, it's a fresh battery. Um, but yeah, I was pretty stressed stressed about it because you know these are not cheap. I think I got it for around four hundred bucks a piece or so. But uh, everything seems to be working. Let's go ahead and connect the app and just make sure. So right now you can see I don't have anything connected here. So what I'm going to do is add device. 
pick QR code and then you can see it's starting to scan QR code. So there's one on top here of the battery. I scanned it, let's see what it says. Boom, it popped up. Bluetooth connected. Check details. And there it is, it's actually at 49% charge. State of charge. 13.2 volts, that's what my voltmeter read. 50 amp hour capacity right now. Let's check the cells. Cells are balanced. They're functioning normal. The BMS is running smoothly. So everything appears to be working. Um, so I think what I was talking about earlier, how you could shut down the power if you need to. Uh, let's see, if I click this, power off. So I guess you could turn off the battery. It says discharge switch so that there's no power coming across the post. Like I mentioned earlier, you could turn that off and there won't be any power. Um, I guess we could go ahead and test that, right? So let's go ahead, turn this off. Boom, now it says off. Now let me get these to get this uh, voltmeter turned on again. Hold on. So it's turned off and it's reading four volts. It's on auto right now. I should probably turn that off. So right now it's reading zero volts. Nothing. Okay. So that's pretty cool that you could just kind of toggle the switch. It's a safety, good safety, safety feature. Let's try to turn it back on. Let's see what happens. All right, let's turn it back on. Let's get this hooked up again. Again, I got one hand trying to do this. Hold on. Now it's reading 13 volts. I actually think I had it on AC the first time, so let's do that again. I saw, I'm sorry, folks. Hold on, I'm new to this stuff. Hold on. All right, let's turn that off. Boom, now it's off. My voltmeter is on DC. And it's only reading 7.6 volts. That's weird. Huh. It's got to maintain enough voltage to keep the Bluetooth running is what I'm assuming. So let's go ahead, turn that on. Back on. Now let's check the voltage again. And now it's at 13.17 volts. So works great. This app is pretty cool. And I think that's all she wrote for this video, folks. So if you ever get this battery, or any smart battery that has a BMS, and it's only reading three volts when you get it out of the box, <clears throat> don't panic. The BMS is most likely turned off. All you have to do is wake it back up, all right? And you can do that several ways. You don't have to just use a jump starter here. You can use a car. You can use another 12 volt battery. You can use two 6 volt batteries in series. You could line up a bunch of batteries like C size batteries, line them up so in series, and then zap it that way. Um, there's all kinds of ways to do it. So that's all I got for today. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. All right. See ya.